What's going on guys? Today I want to give you my thoughts on all the player ratings for NHL 19. Um, obviously we already saw the top 50, but uh, there's still so many more to look at. So just going to look at like the, both their rating and their potential and just kind of give you guys my thoughts. Um, hopefully there's like a good amount of difference, I guess, between uh, this year's game and last year's. So starting off here with the Ducks, uh, gets a lot of 88 overall, highly potential. So obviously in franchise, after you're 26, you no longer grow, but the better your potential, uh, the longer you hold on to that overall. So, so let's say gets last potential was low elite, uh, his rating would start to fall a lot sooner than it would uh, being a high elite. Uh, next year, Raquel, now 86 overall and medium elite potential. Medium elite's a lot for Raquel. I really like him. I don't know about medium elite. That seems too high. I feel like uh, medium top six, low elite's probably better for him. Um, other medium elites are guys like Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, I think. Or no, Connor McDavid's medium franchise. But I don't know. Raquel being medium elite, I feel like that's just a bit too high for the potential. The rating, though, I honestly don't mind. I think he is a very solid player. Uh, Lindholm here, 85, also medium elite. I'm fine with that. Corey Perry there, I think same rating as before, high elite. So basically, because they're both 33, the high elite will kind of keep their rating uh, for a bit longer. They're not going to retire at 35, probably not until their late 30s. Um, Henrique here, 84, 28. We saw that on Twitter, the medium top six. You got Silverberg there, uh, Josh Manson, low top 4D. I'm not sure why it's low. It should be medium. Like, he's kind of cemented himself as a top four defenseman. Uh, Fowler here, 83 overall, medium lead. I feel like Fowler could be at 84. Kessler there, high top 9 forward, that's interesting. I guess that might make sense for Kessler. I feel like a low top 6 though is probably still better for him. Uh, Montour there, 82, medium top 4, so the exact same as last year. Uh, Kessler looks like he got a bit of an upgrade now in 81, low top 6. Cogliano's pretty much the exact same, I think. Uh, Schuster, he might have been a 7th D potential before, now he's medium top 6, but he's 27, so again, doesn't really matter in terms of growing, just more keeping that rating. I'll look at the rest of the guys there. Uh, really no uh, big surprises. Also, two guys, I'll be going through all the goalies after, but just kind of wanted to look at like the important players, I guess you call them first. So next up here with the Arizona Coyotes, um, Ekman Larson, 88 overall, medium elite. Galchenyuk here, 84 overall, also medium elite. I feel like Raquel, Galchenyuk should not be medium elite. Um, he had, what, 50 points last year, and he was a low elite in 18. I don't think 50 points gets you to go from low elite to medium elite. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, that makes the trade even worse for Montreal, at least like in-game. Uh, Jarmelson here, high top 4D. Um, I think that makes sense. Stefan here, 84 overall, high top 6. Keller, 84, medium elite. Uh, Keller should be like a, a beast in franchise mode. Uh, Goligoski there. makes I think that's about the same as last year. Same with the Mares. Dvorak, that's the exact same, 82, medium top 6. Perlini, I think was... Was he medium top 6 or was he... Yeah, I think he was medium top 6. Grabner there, Chitrin, still medium elite. I don't know if Chitrin honestly should be medium elite. Like, I don't know. I feel like low elite, probably more fair for Chitrin. I'm not just saying that either because like the Red Wings trade. Um, Christian Fisher there, I think maybe went up like two overall. Same potential. Panics, the same rating and potential, I believe. Same with Henestroza, Kraus there. So looks like a lot of the kind of lower end guys haven't changed. Uh, but some of the other guys that had like better seasons have. Dylan Strom here is now a 78. Right at the start, that's pretty good for him. I think uh, last year he was only like a 72. He's also got the medium league potential. Obviously, had a very solid year in the AHL. Uh, 53 points, 50 games. So uh, he too should be a beast in franchise mode. Have him and Keller as like your two uh, future first line forwards on the Coyotes. Looking at everyone else here, Marion Host is still there. Uh, for my like cover bus series and even my franchise modes, definitely going to like take all the guys that are LTIR and just lower their ratings, put them on free agency as... There's really no reason to have them on the team, and you can't put and you can't use LTIR in this game. So uh, definitely one thing we kind of have to address. Same goes for Dave Bolin as well. Luckily, only one year left on him. Um, Boston here, Bergeron, 90 overall, high top six. Marchand there, 88, high top six. Um, I feel like Marchand and Bergeron could both be elites. I don't know why they're high top six, but whatever. Uh, Pasternak, medium elite, 87. Chara, high top four. That's because he's 41, so that makes it so he doesn't retire right away. Uh, McAvoy, 85, medium elite. He's a stud. One of the best young defensemen in the game, in my opinion. Uh, Troy Krug, 84, high top four. Not bad. Krejci, 83. John Moore, 82. That might be a bit high for John Moore. Uh, DeBrusque, 82, medium top six. I think that he deserves that. Heinen, the, Heinen, looks, to be, Heinen looks to be the exact same as last year. Uh, same with Carlo. McQuaid. A lot of these guys looked at the same rating. Probably if they had like a decent season, they didn't go up or down. Basically just looking at like the important players and if anyone had like a big jump in potential or rating. Uh, but most of these guys like don't look to have had too much too big a change. Um, Eichel 87, high elite. 
Honestly, Eichel could be higher than that for me. I think Eichel could be 88, 89. Uh, definitely, I think, underrated right now. I wish the line in 86, medium elite. I believe before he was a high elite. Uh, Skinner there, 84, medium elite. Honestly, Buffalo, they could be a sleeper team this year. I don't think, you know, with Darlene, with Skinner, um, even like getting back um, Berglund, Sherry, uh, Sabotka, like they have a lot more depth this year. Like Posa there, medium elite. I, he's 30, so it doesn't matter for, like, growing. I think medium elite's too high for Rock Post, so I'd do more, like, medium top six. Um, Reinhardt's now medium elite, so that's good. Uh, before, he was low elite, so he's super easy to trade for. After him, you have Scandella. Looks to be the exact same as last year. Same with Sabotka. Uh, Sherry there's got medium top six. That's... I don't know about that. I think Sherry's, like, a low top six. See how he does, like, away from Crosby and Malkin this year. Uh, but Goshen looks to have dropped one or two. He's now an 80. With that contract, it's not too great. Same with Pawnville, 5.6 in 80. Uh, McCabe, medium top 6. So that's more... I think they had him at a medium top 4 before, which didn't make much sense for McCabe. Berglund, I think he's dropped like 1. Tage Thompson, 79, medium top 6. I don't know if Tage Thompson's worth that. I didn't realize he was 6.5. Like, let's see. He had 9 points, 41 games, AHL 18. 79 overall already. I don't know. I, the medium top 6, I'm fine with the potential. Middle stat, 79, medium elite. I think they had him a low elite last year as well. Definitely middle stat should be medium elite. Uh, Jurgensen there, Bullu, Rodriguez. Um, I think everyone else, like the lower end players, are all the same. Uh, Calgary Flames here, Johnny Grow, 90 overall, medium elite makes sense. Monahan, Giordano, low elite. So he'll start to drop a bit more, which actually was the case last year. And I think he had medium elite. For some reason, it seems like Giordano's going to start to like regress early in franchise mode. Um, Hannafin, exact same as last year, medium elite, 84. Backlin, Neil's a high top 6, 84. Brody there, low elite. Kachuk, medium elite, 83. So I think he's gone up by like 1. Lindholm there, 83, medium top 6. Makes sense. Hamannick, low elite. Interesting. Uh, for Leak there, low top 6. Stone, high top 6. Alright, so Jankowski is a medium top 6. Ratings haven't really changed for many. Lazar, 78, low top 9. Bennett's now a low top 6. He was a low elite before. I think, you know, that probably makes more sense. Bennett, for like where he was drafted, hasn't really come through. Uh, Tervine in there, medium top six. Aho, high top six. I don't get this one. Aho should be elite, I think. Like, he is so sick. Like, last year, look at his stats here. 65 points. Like, that's his first full year in the NHL. Or, sorry, second year. He had uh, 50 points the year before that, 65. I feel like he should have elite potential. Tervine in medium top six is fine. Falk, there's elite. Slavin, uh, top four. Hamilton. I don't know about this one. 84 overall. I feel like Hamilton should be an 85. Maybe even an 86. Like, I'm pretty high on Dougie Hamilton. Jordan Stahl there is 83. Pesci, 82. Rask, Williams, Ferlin, 81. I think I'd have Ferlin like an 80. DeHaan's 81. TVR. Defense is stacked. Flurry's an 80 as well. I think they're going to have... That's 7, 80 plus D-men. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so if you use Carolina, you can definitely trade D-man for a forward. I don't know what they're going to do. I guess Flurry plays in the AHL. Doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, let's see, just trying to go through quickly like the lower rated guys because I know they don't matter as much. Martin Nikas, though, medium elite potential now. That is six. That's awesome to see. I think before he only had top six, which seemed a little bit low. Patty Kane here, 91 overall franchise potential. Tay's there, high elite 87. Keith, high elite 86. Schmaltz, there's their next highest. So you can see Chicago's like a top heavy team. Uh, fourth highest rated player is 83. Uh, medium top six. Saw there, medium elite. The Brink Cats, also medium top six. Seabrook's 82, making 6.8 at 33. That contract's not good. Anisimov, Ruda, I think he got a bit of a rate, uh, rating boost. I think he was like a 78 before. Murphy looks to be the exact same. Actually, medium top four. I don't, I don't he might have had that potential. Honestly, I don't remember. Brandon Manning. I'll, all I can think whenever I see that guy is just injuring uh, Connor McDavid. Uh, looking through everyone else here. Brandon Davidson, I didn't even realize they signed him. 75, makes sense. Um, okay, so... Nothing too crazy there. Chicago, McKinnon obviously now 90 overall, medium elite, just a sick player. Ranton in 87, big upgrade for him. I think he was like an 80 or 78 to start last year. Finished like 84, 85, now an 87, like that's awesome. Uh, Barry, Landeskog, all both 85s, medium elite. Johnson there, low. Ian Cole, 81, their next best player. Kerfoot, Soderberg, Nemeth. So Colorado really doesn't have the depth either. Samuel Gerrard, medium top four. Okay, I like that. I think before it was a medium top six, but he played pretty well last year. Definitely deserved a bit of a potential boost. Tyson Joss there. Medium top six, down from medium elites. Um, I don't know. 22 points. 
like one season, but Chitrin's still an elite, so I don't know about that one. It's weird. Like sometimes they lower guys that I feel you know should be lowered, but then other guys who should be lowered don't get it. It doesn't seem like it's kind of fair across the board, but uh, we'll see. I can always you know change it if I want. Uh, Panarin here, 88 medium elite makes sense. Jones in 87, Wenske 86, three best players there. Uh, Atkinson 84, so they boosted him back up. He was like an 81 last year, made no sense. Uh, Wenberg 83 with high elite, that's interesting. He has higher potential than a bunch of, I'd say, better players. Um, after him, Dubois, medium elite. Like, Dubois, for instance, probably has a higher ceiling than Wenberg. How Wenberg has high elite, I really don't know. Uh, Murray there, medium elite still, even though, he, like, I don't know the last time he played a full season. Savard, 83. Borkstrand, medium top six. Nunavera, medium top four. That's a big boost. I think before they had him at, like, a 70 potential, so made his contract terrible when you had him in game. Uh, Duclair in 80, that was like one of the best uh, signs I think of the summer, so cheap and all upside. Anderson there, medium top 9, I'd give him like a low top, uh, I guess medium top 9 is fine. Looking through the rest of the guys there, Milano low top 6, really like no complaints about anyone else. Uh, Dallas Stars here, Jamie Penn high elite, 90 overall, Sagan medium elite, 90 overall. Uh, Radulov low elite, 87, that's pretty high too. Klingberg 87, medium elite. Lindell, slight boost, low top four. Nichushkin, what they give him? 81, medium top six. I think I made him an 82 or an 80 with low top six. So I was trying to be fair, and it looks like I was actually like even too harsh on him. I want to take a quick look here at his stats. Uh, so 88 speed, they got him pretty quick. Really good shot. I think, I don't know, they might have him overrated. Like He was doing okay in the KHL. I don't know if he should really be that high rated. Spets is a 79 now. Facts are there, medium top nine. I think before he was... Low top six. Uh, Dallas is another team. Like They are top heavy. They have a first line. They have Klingberg. Not a lot after that. Uh, Detroit here. Zedberg, 84. High top six. Larkin, I heard about this. No longer low elite. Now he's a medium top six. I don't I don't know. I feel like Larkin... I mean, maybe. Is medium top six better than low elite? Maybe. We'll see. Nyquist, low elite. Mantha, though, is a medium elite. And I think Larkin's just as good, if not better than Mantha. I feel like Mark Larkin, honestly, should have the medium elite potential. You guys can let me know. DeKaiser, Green. DeKaiser probably doesn't deserve 82 overall. Um, Green does. Athens C there is now medium top six. Makes him a lot better. Before, he was always a low. Uh, Vanek there. Cronwall. Just a bunch of overpaid veteran players. Oh, my gosh. I Look, look at all that. Look at all the contracts there. I hate seeing that. Uh, Tyler Bertuzzi, still low top nine. He's been pretty solid. I feel like he should have medium. Furk has medium. Tyler Bertuzzi is definitely going to stick in the NHL longer than Furk. He's just kind of a better, like, kind of bottom six player. He does more things. Uh, so, might have to change that. Sveshikov, though, now medium top six, opposed to low elite. I think that's better for him. Should help him grow more. Again, kind of nitpicking a few of these ratings, but whatever. Uh, McDavid, 94, medium franchise. Yeah, he's going to be, like, the best player in the game, probably. Dreisaitl, 87, medium elite. Clefbaum, also medium elite there. Larson, no longer medium elite. Now, medium top four. That's probably good though, like he grew kind of unrealistically in this game. Nuge is also no longer low elite, medium top six. I feel like they removed a lot of low elites, maybe all of them, as they kind of would grow um, not consistently, like some would grow a lot and others wouldn't grow at all. Uh, it seems like all the low elites are over 26 years old, so maybe that's something uh, new they did this year, which is interesting, like low elites you could trade for cheap and usually would grow, so it's going to be, I guess, tougher now uh, to kind of find steals in uh, NHL. Brodziak, Riders of 79, Pugliarvi, still has elite potential, 79 overall, okay. Kara, high top 9, I think this we had before. Um, looking through everybody here, no, not too many big changes. Aberg, I think he got a boost, I believe he was like a 72 or something um, last year. So, Ethan Bear, 75, medium top 6. Not bad for him. Alright, so next tier, Florida Panthers, Barkov 88. I mentioned this before, I think Barkov could even be an 89, he's that good. Um, Ekblad, medium lead still. Trocheck low top six. That one doesn't really make sense. I feel like he should for sure be medium top six. Huberdeau there. Dadnov. Hoffman's low elite. It'll be interesting to see how he does on Florida this year. Um, Yandel. Okay. Bukestad's medium top six. McCann there. Medium top nine. I believe he was a low top six before. It looks like they might have removed all the low potentials from anyone under 26, which is really interesting. Uh, Borgstrom here. He got a boost. I remember in mind. People were saying how I trade him. He was really good. But I think he had like medium top nine or something. Uh, Doughty here, low franchise. Kopitar, low franchise. Kolvachuk, was curious to see him. 
They actually have his face in game. That's sick. Uh, definitely going to have to try and get him in one of the cup or bust. 86 overall. Mediumly potential, so we'll keep his rating as a 35-year-old for a bit. Um, let's see his stats here. 86 speed. 90 puck control. Obviously, his hands are sick. Shots sick. Uh, so, yeah, pretty similar to how I had him rated. He's actually rated a lot higher, but it does look like the ratings in general in the offline modes are higher than they were last year, um, at least to start the season. Uh, to end the season, obviously, they boost them and stuff, but these ratings do seem just higher across the board. Carter there, high elite, so yeah, he'll stay good. Muzzin, low elite, to Foley's medium top six. Martinez, Pearson, Phaneuf. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there with that contract. Seven million, he should be making like 5.5 on LA unless it just shows the full thing in the regular game mode and then in franchise it has it like split up but definitely gonna have to check that Emerson Edom didn't even realize um, he was on LA uh, next year we have the Minnesota Wild so Ryan Suter there high elite again 33 years old he'll be able to play to like 37 because of that Granlin medium elite Zucker 85 high top six I don't know for me Zucker I just I'm still not a believer in him we'll see what happens stall there 85, Dumba, medium elites, okay, Spurgeon, high top four, Koivu, how, how bad is Brodeen now? 83, medium top four, that's better than, like, they always had him as a medium elite, and it made Brodeen grow into, like, a stud 90 overall defense, which just didn't seem right. Coil Prize, those make sense, same with Niederreiter, uh, Felino, Brown, okay, Kunin, medium top six, Arisonek, medium top six, overall, I think most of those make sense, not too many rating changes there on Minnesota. I want you all here. Shea Weber's high elite, so another guy, he'll uh, be able to play a lot longer in franchise. Pat Shreddy, obviously, now on Vegas. Gallagher, Dren, still medium elite, so I mean, he'll be sick in franchise. And even though he's, like, got bad face-offs, what are they? Uh, 72, doesn't really matter. He still grows into, like, a 90. Uh, Domi there, so again, that Galchenyuk trade looks so bad when you compare it to Domi. Like, Galchenyuk's two overall higher elite potential, only a year older. Petrie, Depre. Um, Armia, Schlemko, the No. Alzner still has top 4D potential. I feel like that should be like top 6. Olet there's a 79, even though he got bought out. I feel like 79 is a bit high for a guy that got bought out on one of the, if not the team with the worst defense in the league on Detroit. But I'm a fan of Olet, so whatever. Shaw there, pretty bad contract. Mechanic, Mete, I'm glad they boosted him. Before he was like low top 6 or low top 4. Uh, now medium top 4, he'll actually have the value he should. Lekin there's top nine. Don Juleson's top four. I think that's the same. Jordy Ben, Mike Riley. Okay, so uh, Sherbax, medium top six now. Uh, he might have been that before too. I forget. It's hard to remember like every single rating potential, especially since I switched some of them. Uh, Nashville here. Yossi 88, medium elite. Where Subban's 88 with high elite. So slight difference there. Forsberg 86. Uh, Terse is 85. Johansson also an 85. But he's got the elite potential opposed to top six. Arvidsson 84, Ellis 84. So far, these ratings look pretty good for Nashville. Like, this team's got a lot of depth. Fiala, only an 82. Honestly, he had a pretty good year last year. I would give him, like, an 83, I think. Uh, Yarncroft's an 80 right on. Same with Benino. Watson there. He might end up not in this game. Season Hartman. Uh, let's see. Hartman's a weird guy, too, eh? 79 overall. He gave up a first-round pick. I really don't get it. Yannick Weber, Salamaki. Uh, Tolvanen, 77, medium elite. I believe he was a high top 6 and 18, now medium elite potential. That's, he's going to be, that's crazy. Like, if you're Nashville and you don't feel like waiting, you could use him to trade for a huge piece. Um, medium elite for him is a lot, too. I don't know. Uh, Taylor Hall here, high elite, 90 overall. One of my favorite players. I love it. Uh, his sheer here, 84 medium elite. Makes sense. Butcher there is me in top 4. Same with Severson, Johansson, Paul Mary. Look to be pretty much all the same. Vatnin's exact same rating potential. Pratt there may have gone up. One or two. Miles Wood looks to be the same, I think. Brian Boyle. Zaka's now low top six. I believe before he was medium top six. That's why he was on that uh, team of busts. Zaka really hasn't quite proved it for me. Um, Noah Sin, 79. Okay, Coleman. Coleman got a big boost. I think both these guys were like low 70s, but didn't quite make sense with the contracts they got, so it makes sense to boost them a bit. Mueller there, I think he was a top four before. Now he's just a top six. Uh, Green's high top six. Even though he's 35, he won't, like, you know, get bad too soon. Uh, next year with the Islanders, best player on the team is Jordan Eberle. I don't know about that one. I mean, okay, I see that Bailey and Barzell are tied there at all 85s, but Barzell is the best player on this team by far. I feel like they did Barzell dirty. I met him at the event. Like, the guy went to the NHL 19 event. 85 points last year. Over a point per game. You're giving him an 85. 
It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, Eberle's never had 80 points in his career, and he's the same rating. That doesn't make sense. I feel like, honestly, um, Eberle should be 84, Bailey should be 84, 85, Barzell should be like an 87. I think Eichel's also an 87, but for me, Eichel's underrated, should be like an 88. And Barzell, for me, is honestly pretty close to Eichel. I feel like this might be the... Barzell might be the biggest, like, underrated player in this game. Uh, Anders Lee there, 84. Nick Letty, low lead, 84. Uh, Pulak's now medium top four, so that's good. I think before he was low top four. Boychuk, Hickey, Komarov, Nelson. Bovalet here, 80, with low top six. Vlad's an 80 now, so that contract's pretty bad. Uh, even the Nelson one, 4.2 million, but it is only one year. I'm um, looking through the rest. Kunakl, 78. I think that's a bit of an upgrade on Kunakl. I'm not sure. Hosang, 78. I think that's an upgrade as well. Medium top six. He'll definitely be part of that future. So, yeah, Barzell. I can't believe the rating on him. Uh, Zbinijad here, 85. Meme Elite. Zuccarello's high top six. Okay, Shinekirk. Shea, low elite. Okay, so that's the first guy I think we found with low something potential that's under 26. I could be wrong, but, like, that might be the first low elite. Um... Nemestikov, Bushnovich, both 83. Same with Kreider. Okay, Hayes, Fast, Spooner. Pionk here, 79. That's definitely an upgrade for him. VC there, medium top 6. Uh, Chittle, medium top 6. Okay, let's see. Is Anderson on this team? Anderson is. He's a medium top 6 as well. I don't know. I feel like that's a bit low for at least Anderson. I think Anderson's maybe a bit better of a prospect. I feel like one of them could be elite for sure. I don't know. Maybe top 6 is fair for both. Rangers fans, you can let me know what you think. Uh, Carlson here, 90 overall, high franchise potential. I just don't get this. So, Carlson's a beast, the best defenseman in the game. McDavid's got medium franchise, though. Like, how is Carlson higher than McDavid for potential? I think Crosby's also high franchise, if I remember right. So, again, just little things that I don't understand. Uh, Stone there, 87 medium elite. Duchesne, 85 medium elite. What's crazy, too, Ottawa's three best players are all on expiring deals, so they could lose their three best players this year. It's going to be crazy for Ottawa. Like, I don't know what you do. It would be fun to do, like, a uh, cover bus where you have to trade all three of these guys and just completely rebuild the team. Because after that, it's an 81 Bobby Ryan's their next best player. I thought Chicago was top heavy and, like, kind of bad for the depth. But after those three, you have an 81. So their best player could be Bobby Ryan after this season. That's insane. Assuming the returns all prospect and picks. Uh, Shabbat here now an 81 and medium elite. So we no longer can we steal Shabbat there um, in the franchise modes. Zingle's a high top six. That is very interesting. Uh, big potential boost for him, and a little bit of a rating boost too. Uh, Bodker's the same. Smith looks to be the same. CC's the same-ish. Pajot, 79, medium top six. Okay, so Clark MacArthur's another guy we gotta like kind of basically move to LTIR. Logan Brown, medium top six. All right, so we still got the same potential. Uh, next up here, Philadelphia Flyers. Giroux, 89 overall. Uh, highly potential. Same with Warcheck, 88 with high elite. Kutri is 87 with medium elite. Ghost, 86, medium elite. Simmons, low. Provorov, medium elite, 84. Honestly, Provorov was a beast last year. I could even give him like an 85. But uh, that all elite potentials there, top of the Flyers, that's pretty sweet. JVR there, 84, high top 6. Kunekni, medium. Uh, Nolan Patrick, only an 80. Uh, I guess he didn't have the greatest year last year, but he still has the elite potential, so he can still grow. So I kind of, I guess I'm fine with that. Raffle there, 79, Lawton, Gudahess. Sandheim here, 78 with medium top 4, so... Uh, he'll grow a lot in franchise. Um, let's see here. Hag, 77, medium top six. They do, Flyers do have a lot of good young defensemen. Uh, Crosby, like I was saying, also has the high franchise. 93 overall. So McDavid's higher rated, but I don't know how McDavid doesn't have the highest potential in the game. Like, it, it's just a weird... It's just weird. Like, it doesn't really matter. They're all franchise, but it's just a weird thing to me. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to change it on my own. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't mean he'll win the color this time. Hopefully, they fix that. Uh, Melkin, 91, high elite. Kessel, high elite. Kotang, high elite. I think Pittsburgh has the four highest potentials on their top four players of any team, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, then you got Hornfist there, Broussard, Schultz, Gensel. I mean, this team is just so stacked. Uh, Johnson there's an 80 right on, low top four. Guess I'm fine with that. Hagelin's an 80, Sheehan too. Um, not really, like, none of these ratings really look that bad. Sprong, 78, medium top six. He'll uh, probably grow for them too, so Penguins, cover buzz should be pretty easy. Uh, San Jose here, Burns, high elite, 89. Pavelski, 87 with medium elite. I'm curious too, he's a right winger. How are his face-offs? Uh, 85 still, so you can still put him in the center very easily. Vlasic there, medium elite. Same with Couture. I think before Couture was top six, I could be wrong. I feel like, I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, Kane had elite, now he's a top six. Or, 
He might have been top six. It's so hard to remember all these. Thornton, Hurdle there. Braun, Dylan, Tierney, Meyer. All right, Donskoy. LeBlanc's still a low top six. There's another one with low potential, but there's not a lot of guys under 26 that's potential is like a low. Most of them are medium or high. And I think it has to do with like, you can get the low guys for such a steal. I don't know. Uh, St. Louis here, Tarasenko's 90 medium elite. Petrangelo, 89 high elite. Schwartz, 87 medium elite. I feel like that's a big boost on him. O'Reilly there, 86. Shen's 86. Pareko, 85. Peron, 84. I mean, the, the year he had, you could even make him an 85, I think. Like, uh, everyone else in that team, like, 66 points. I don't know. Uh, Steen, Bozak, 82. St. Louis is going to be sick this year, too. Maroon, I forgot they got him, and so cheap. Like, yeah, this team's got a lot of depth. Vince Dunn's 81, low top four. That's solid. Fabry there, medium top six. Yaskin. This team's depth actually might be one of the best in the NHL. And right after saying that, guys, I realized I forgot about this next team, Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, the most stacked team by far in NHL 18. I feel like they won 50% of the Stanley Cups in our simulations. Stamkos here, franchise potential 91. Kucherov's elite potential at 91. I believe he was franchised last year, so they decided to lower him for whatever reason. Um, Hedman there is high elite. McDonough's high elite as well. That's really surprising. His potential is higher than Kucherov's. That's another weird one. I feel like medium elite or high top four makes more sense for McDonough. Uh, point there, medium top six. I would even give point uh, elite potential. Like, the dude's year last year was insane. Uh, let me look at this because I forget. 66 points. Like, uh, he was amazing last year. Uh, Stroman there. Okay, Palat. Suryachev, Miller, Johnson. So far, everything looks uh, pretty good. Uh, Kalorn, Gord's an 82 now. Um, only making a million dollars is insane. Coborn, Girardi, both 80s. I think they could be like 79. Especially too, Dodging here is a 78, and I'm pretty sure he played on the top line with Hedman. So, like, I feel like he's better than Coburn and Girardi, whatever. Uh, Cuckoo, 78, high top six. And Dodging's the better player. So, there's so many, like, weird little things where, like, they're close, but not quite right. I think Dodging should be uh, 80 with high top six. Um, and then these two should be 79s. And then Cuckoo should be 78 with medium top six. So, it's like, they're close to having the right ratings potentials, but it's not, you know, quite right in my opinion. Like, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. I'll look at the rest of the guys here. Sorelli's medium top nine now. I believe he was top six before. Ernie, low top six. So he's one of the other guys there. Actually has low potential. Corey Conacher. Again, that team's just so stacked. John Tavares on Tron Maple please. That's just, I still can't believe this, honestly. Low franchise. That's, you don't see that much. Uh, Matthews there, high elite. Uh, Marner's got medium elite. Same with Riley there and Nylander, 86, 86, 85. So they have Marner slightly higher. I feel like that's warranted though. He's had slightly more points. Kadri here, 85 overall, high top six four potential. Uh, probably the best third line center in the league. It's like Hammer Broussard. Uh, Gardner there, Marlow, Zaitsev. Leafs are good. A lot of people are saying like they're the Stanley Cup favorite. I don't know about that. Uh, Dermot here got a big boost, 79 overall now, medium top four. I think before he was like. Uh, seven, he was he was like a 70 low top 6, and then they boosted him to 78, still low top 6. This makes a lot more sense now, considering how he played. Uh, captain there, 78 low top 6, the exact same. Andreas Johnson also got a big upgrade, that makes sense, because he's going to actually be making the team playing a lot. Levo, Horton's still there, he's another guy on LTIR. Uh, Vancouver, Horvat, 85, medium top 6. Besser, 85, medium elite. I mean, yeah, Besser and Barzell, I feel both got done dirty. Like, I'd give Besser an 86, and I'd give Barzell 87. I don't know. I know they're like their rookies, but they went off last year. Tanev, Edler, Harrickson's an 82 still. I don't I don't get giving the veterans. How is 23 points in 50 games and 20... How is that an 82? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Erickson's def... Um, he should be like an 80 max. I don't get that. Like, Andrew Ladd... David Backus, other, I think all of them got signed the same summer. They had bad contracts. Like, I'm pretty sure Gagne did better than uh, Erickson last year. Yeah, 31 points, he did, so I don't get it. Uh, Hutton, Del Zotto, Roussel, Stetcher, Sutter, uh, Jay Beagle, big signing for Vancouver, Marcus Granlin, Leipzig there, Pouillot. Uh, so Pouillot got a big upgrade. He had a pretty good year last year on Canuck. 79 now, medium top four. I feel like that's deserved. Vertanen now, medium top nine. I think he was a low leap before. Potential probably makes more sense though with how he's played. Goldabin, medium top nine as well. I think he was low top six, so uh, both their potentials got lowered. And next up here with the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, March or so, 86 overall, high top six. Uh, Carlson, 85, high elite. That one doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, Carlson had an amazing year last year. 78 points, 43 goals, 
but his shooting percentage of 23 is more than double his highest ever. It's like way above league average. And to give him a high lead off one year, that just seems too high. Like, that's the same as Austin Matthews. I feel like I'm going to lower that to medium lead, and even then that seems a bit much for one year. We'll see. Riley Smith, medium top six. He finally got upgraded. Like, all last year was an 82 and 81. Made no sense. Like, he had a very good year. He's had 50 points a couple times before. Stastny there. McNabb's got an upgrade. Schmidt's an 83 now. Theodore. Looks like they gave kind of the entire Vegas roster plus one, plus two across the board. Except for Tatar, who's going to be on Montreal. Alex Tuck. Merrill. So, I mean, honestly, though, Vegas had such a good year. It makes sense to, like, upgrade all these guys across the board. Um, David Clark's another guy that I'll basically just get rid of for franchise. How about LTIR? Uh, Washington here. 92 overall Ovechkin, medium franchise, greatest goal scorer of all time, cannot complain about that. Uh, Kuznetsov there, medium elite 89, Backstrom high elite 88, Carlson 88, medium elite, Oshie there, high top 6, 85, Niskin and Orlov both 84s, Burakovsky 82, I don't know, I feel like 82 is a bit high for Burakovsky, 25 points, 35 points, I don't think he's quite earned that yet, I'd have him like 81, uh, Wilson 82, that contract though, 5 million, I don't know. Eller 81, Verana 80, like again, Verana had pretty similar production to Burkowski last year, so I don't quite get some of the ratings. Like, they're close, they're just not quite right. Uh, Kempney, big upgrade for him, well deserved, played great in the playoffs, 80 overall now, low top 6. He was like a 73 with 70 potential or something beforehand. Connolly there, Juice, 79, top 6, okay, Smith Pelly, Stephenson, so um, Orpik got the million dollar contract now, Bowie, 77, medium top 4. Honestly, overall, I pretty much like all those. Uh, Winnipeg, Shifley, 89, medium elite. Probably one of the most underrated players in the game. Not EA, but in the NHL. Just such a beast. Uh, Blake Wheeler there. Do they, have, they don't have the extension yet. So definitely, I think, I might be doing this a little early. They might have to still add some extensions and stuff uh, that have happened recently. As, like, the game's not officially up for four or five days. Maybe they'll even tweak some things. I'm not sure. Um, Liney there, 89 as well. Bufflin, 87. Ehlers, 85. He was sick last year. Troub 84. Morrissey 83. That's a big uh, upgrade for him. No longer low elite as well. Now medium top four. Myers 83. Connor 83. With medium elite. He was a low elite before, so that's a big boost. Brian Little. Perot. Lowry. Uh, most of these guys I'm looking at look to be the same. Roslovich, I think, got a bit of an upgrade. 78. Morrow. No, that's the same, I think. But his potential might have gone up to medium top six. But 10, medium top nine looks to be about the same. So, yeah, overall. Like I was saying, I think all the ratings, I would say like 90% of the ratings are good, and the 10% that are wrong, it's like their overall is just a bit too high or a bit too low, or the potential is a bit too high or a bit too low, and the other 90% are fine. Uh, so quickly guys, I'm going to show you the goalies and the potentials. If any of them stand out to me as being way off, I'll mention it. Gibson, right off the bat, I think could be higher than 85, honestly. I think he's very good, like 86, 87. Rant to 84, that even seems a bit too high, um, but whatever. Uh, Rask here, 90, he had a very good year. Hutton, Allmark, Wedgwood. I think the biggest kind of underrating for goalies was definitely uh, Rene. I already mentioned that, though, um, in the top 50 players. Mike Smith, John Gillies. Uh, looks fine to me. Carolina here, Morazic and Darlene. Morazic's actually rated higher, although I think Darlene will probably be the starter. So, I mean, I don't know. I think they could probably both be 81s. Crawford there, 88. Cam Ward, 81. Uh, Colorado here actually has... Colorado here, Varlamov 86, Grubauer 83, so a big boost for Varlamov, he was like an 82 last year, um, what, what, did he have that good of a year last year? 51 games played, 24 and 16, he had pretty good stats, but they don't, I don't know, like to make him an 86 seems a bit much, I feel like 84, 85 may more, make more sense for Varlamov, uh, Bobrovsky here 91, Corby Salo no longer the elite potential, no longer like the young goalie you always trade for, he's now an 81 with medium starter. Also no longer like the easy, I guess, expansion draft pick. Or I guess he would still be a pick, but he's no longer as good. Uh, Bishop 85, Kudobin 82. Detroit here, Howard 83, Bernie 82. Bernie had a much better year than Howard last year. Bernie was a big reason why the Avs actually made the playoffs. Talbot, Montoya, Koskinen. This is another one that doesn't make sense. Montoya's going to be buried in the AHL. Koskinen will be the backup. It should be the other way around. Uh, Montoya should be like a 78. Koskinen should probably be like a 79, 80. Uh, so again, just, it's close, but not quite. Uh, Luongo there, 85. Reimer, 82. So I guess Hutchinson's in the AHL for Florida. Um, LA, Quick's in 89. I feel like it's a, it's a tad high on Quick. I don't know. Dubnik, definitely high, 89. Uh, I mentioned that already. Montreal, 92 Price. A lot of people didn't like that. I would have Price still be the best goal in the game, but probably like a 91. Rene should be at least an 89 or 90. 
Schneider here's an 88, King Cat an 81, and honestly, I would have King Cat even higher. Like, he is a big reason why the Devils made the playoffs. 41 games played last year. He played half the year. 26 and 10, 0.912, 2.77. Like, those are similar to Varlamov's numbers, and Varlamov's an 86. So I know King Cat is a backup, whatever, but I feel like you at least gotta give him a bit of a boost for that season, right? Like, I don't think he got a boost at all. I would have him at least be an 82, 83. Um, I think that's kind of fair. Laner 83, Grice 81, probably fine there. Um, Lungfist 88, George, I don't know how to say this guy's name, Georgiev 78, um, Ottawa, Anderson and Condon 80, 81, I think that's the worst tandem in the game, it, Ottawa's in tough, like, Ottawa's in tough for sure, Elliott 90, or 82, Neuvirth 81, I think that's the second worst, uh, Matt Murray there, 88 as well, DeSmith a 74, I'm pretty sure, uh, the other goalie, why can't I remember his name, Jerry on Pittsburgh is a higher rated than that, he'd be in the AHL, uh, Jones 87, Dell 81, See, Allen 84, Johnson 81, I think that's fair. Vasilevsky 88, I honestly felt like he should be even an 89, like he was a beast last year. Domingue 78, makes sense. Um, Anderson's an 88, McElhinney 79, uh, Vancouver 82, or Markstrom 82, Nielsen 79, and then Vegas here, Fleur 87, Subban 81, I think those are both well deserved. Holpe there in 91, Copley is 72, definitely have to add Samsonov into this game, uh, give Washington a decent backup. And then Hellebeck 87, Brossois. 75. They lost both Mason and Hutchinson and Pavlich, but I mean, they have Helldeck as a B, so not too big of a deal, I guess. I um, also want to show you guys kind of the top three picks and kind of what the rating is as well as potential. And I want to show you another, probably like the biggest um, underrating in this game. I know I said it was Barzell, and I think it is Barzell, um, but the second highest, this reminded me because we're on goalies, Garrett Sparks. Calvin Picard here is an 80 overall. I'm going to show you guys his stats last year in the AHL, so. 33 games played, 21-9, 0.917, 2.31, very good. Garrett Sparks had like the exact same stats, if not better. 43, 31-9, 0.936, 1.9, you know, his stats were better. 31-9, 0.936 save percentage, less than two goals against. Uh, I think he won goalie of the year in the AHL. And he's a 73. Picard somehow 7 overall higher, I don't get that. I feel like they should both, I think like Sparks should be like a 79, and Picard should be like a 78, like... Ah, that's a that's probably one of the biggest underratings in this game. Now they did boost his potential. It's a medium starter, but I don't know. That was one I saw it when he tweeted it out, and he, he tweeted something kind of funny. Like, what do you think? It, it was clear. I don't think he was a fan of that rating, but that's that might be worse than Barzell's. I do not get it. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys quickly um, Dalene as well as um, Svechikov. So Dalene here, 82 overall, medium elite potential. So we actually got the rating right. I always had him as 82 last year. Uh, I had him at franchise potential though. They just have that elite. Um, he's supposed to be like a franchise defenseman. I don't know if I change that or maybe I make it like low franchise. I'm not sure if that'd be better or worse um, than medium elite. Uh, you also got Svechikov. You think he's an 80 overall? Yeah, with medium elite potential. Svechikov, I think, is going to be sick this year. Uh, Dalin, though, should be like on another level. He's two overall higher. I think his potential, I guess maybe you can make it high elite. That might be just a good way around that. And then Kokaniemi here. I think I mentioned in the uh, trade videos, also elite potential now. I forget his, I think it's 66 overall. Ah uh, yeah, 66, medium elite. Also, they have his face now in game. So there's the top three picks from the draft and all the uh, NHL player ratings and goalies. I know this is a long video, guys. So I want to go through and kind of give you my thoughts. And like I was saying before, guys, I feel like they did a pretty good job on this. Uh, they probably got like 90% of the players right, and the 10% they got wrong, they were really close. Um, hopefully there's a roster update soon that at least add the extension salaries, and maybe they'll tweak a few things. Um, again, the game's not officially out for like four more days, so I'll uh, see what happens with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.